You can stop now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hi, this is Judy Keys, and welcome to Cooking for All Seasons. And here we are at LJB Farms, and this is Raquel Benino. And she is my co hostess today, and we're shopping for a brunch that we're going to be preparing. And this is definitely the Cooking for All Seasons. This is the fall, and you can tell by looking at all these beautiful pumpkins here. So, Raquel, yes. you are a part of this family I by? Am. By marriage. Oh, I this married is. married well. Yes. You can like be cooking I, forever. I can here. be eating well the rest of my life. Yeah. That's just, I mean, you are just like I'm so lucky. Lucky, I am. So lucky. So, what start us off? Um, what, what do we have here? Well, we have lots of really, really fun squash, and we have this, these mainly are for decoration. Some people like to cook with them. I don't necessarily like the taste of some of these, but you know, it's, it's by choice. Um, the blue ones over there make fabulous pumpkin pie. That's the one I will use. Oh, really? I didn't. I I didn't know. I really yes. didn't know that. Yeah. They well, let's do. See, can we take a walk over here? Can you catch us? Can you see us? We're gonna scoot by here. Oh, okay. These are my favorite, just because they they're called the Cinderella pumpkin, and they they look like the pumpkin from Cinderella. Oh, they do see, look. The carriage pumpkin. So what so, now? What is this one used for? Well, you could bake this. Um, actually, I've cut it open before and put a a stew inside or like a a casserole and cooked it all in. Oh, so all casserole. <clears throat> oh, that is like a totally awesome idea. So if you were going to put a soup in this, yep. would you? You would just carve it like you would a pumpkin, scoop it out, and then cook it, and then put the soup in well, afterwards. You can actually cook the soup in there, and then as after it's cooked, you scrape the sides down. And all that yummy pumpkin goes in with the with the soup. Okay, we're going to be testing that one on. I can tell you. Yes. I can tell you. Okay, let's move on to this one. This one is just a really fun one. This one we can be used for pumpkin pies, but um, they're really really hard. They last a long time, like a lot of these summer squash. Oh, so this is good. So you could buy this uh, and keep this for like the whole season. You buy it in the fall time, you can use this all year, almost yeah, all. Almost. I mean, my mother has one from last year and it just started getting a little squishy. So it, it will only last about a year, but you can use it throughout. But this the is year. great because you could buy it now and keep it for like January, February. Yeah, absolutely. And they're, they look pretty. They just look like a wintry, I mean, for decoration, you can use them all. So you can use it for decoration now and then use it for, use it for food in January. later. There you go. Okay, then here, oh no, I know these. Oh, of course, your typical gourds that are fun to decorate with. Now, you're not, now can you eat, I, I don't know. I've cut that open and it's hard as a rock. I, I, I've never tried eating it. So these, but these, these are the ones that a lot of people use for decoration. Absolutely. They're fun to put on your mantle or on your table in a little basket or something. Okay, oh, this is the one, I love this one. This is a turban squash. Yeah, this is a turban squash. It looks just like a turban. No. And this one you can definitely cook. It's kind of like a butternut where you can cut it in half, dig out the inside, put a little butter and brown sugar, and bake it in your oven. Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. I wouldn't want to cut him. But no, like, once he's again, beautiful. He's, he's really. great for decoration. So. Great. Okay, so here we have the butternut squash. This has got a tough skin, sort of like, you know, we're talking about, and we'll see the butternut squashes inside. So, but similar to the butternut, you can cut it in half. Add your seasonings, whatever you'd like. If you wanted to sweeten it up, you can add the brown sugar and butter, or you can do a little olive oil and salt and pepper and some seasonings and uh, just put it in the oven and bake it and then scoop it out, and it's yummy. Oh, it's great. I mean, I actually do just rings of this and just uh, roast it in the oven. Oh, that sounds yummy. You know, it looks really pretty, that too, because it looks like little flowers there and stuff go. like that. Oh, that's a good idea. So the next one we have over here. Let's see, we'll squish through here. Well, there's a white pumpkin back here, and we're just kind of guessing that, because I'm not really too sure about this one, but I'm sure, I'm sure, I wonder if we can, it's a real heavy, dense pumpkin. Yeah, I'm sure you can cook it, just like we talked about earlier. You can cook basically anything that grows, you can try to cook, obviously. So it is a squash. I've never personally tried this. I just like it because you can make it into a ghost for Halloween. <laughs> I like it. But I mean, I let's you know I'm gonna try this one. I bet you this one would be really good, like in uh, savory, mm. uh, or in a uh, in a pumpkin pie, or even or anything Mine, like that. Maybe or so a just stew or something. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Maybe with some lamb or something like yeah. that. Pork. Ooh, yeah. definitely pork thing. And these are your favorite. Yeah, these are some banana squashes. I don't know if you guys can see. Here, there's one. There but I know you guys see these in the market, and you probably never have seen one, well, a whole make, one. They look scary because they're so big. Well, you know what? They look like, oop, they look like a banana slug. 
Yes, they do. They look like the Santa Cruz, uh, the, you yeah. see, what you is see it? You see Santa, Santa Cruz, Cruz the well, banana slug. The thing is, is sometimes I, I tend to not cook it because it's so much squash. Well, you know, in the supermarket, where you're going to see this one is that it's cut in half and then it's cut into pieces, usually wrapped in a cellophane. And, and basically you cook it in the oven, just, you know, just uh, bake it, uh, score it, butter, salt, little brown sugar, stick it in the oven okay. and just bake it off. Or cut it in cubes and put it, it's really good with pastas. It's really good with, you know, ha actually for the brunch, we're going to do potatoes. We're going to do roasted reds. We're going to do bananas. So I'm going to get yeah. one of these, some um, roasted potatoes, some banana squashes. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be part of it. So, and then, so now what we're, we're going to do is, okay, we got us. We're going to, now we're going to go inside and start our shopping. So we're gonna, right. definitely going to pick up one of these. So let's get one well, of we these. Got lots of shopping to do. We'll leave it there and we'll pick it up on the way out. Oh, okay. Cool. We don't want to hug that thing or lug it around. All right, you coming with us? You're going to cut. Okay, we'll meet you guys inside. Okay? We'll meet you inside. <laughs> All right. Okay, here we are. We're inside. We are inside. And this is like so cool. I love this building. And this is like so cool, you know. This is really fun. We have lots of fun things that we sell inside of our barn. We basically grow whatever we don't grow, we get from local farmers. But um, we pretty much have everything that your local Safeway or Knob Hill has, but fresher. Pick more fresher. More fresher, absolutely. Well, you know what's so cool is, and I, was, and, I, and I know this for sure, that you guys are already, you're all, you're open until December 24th. Yes, we are. Which is like so cool. And you have like fresh corn all the way through. Yeah, we try to have it through Thanksgiving at least. It depends oh, yeah. on the weather, but we try to have it at least through the end of November. It's so cool because there's nothing better than fresh cream corn. Oh, oh. yeah. It's good stuff. Lots That's of butter. For, fresh cream. Mm. Okay, stop with the cream. Okay, all right. Nice, nice fancy things. Okay, so some of the things that we, we're going to be picking up today, some of the things that we're going to be needing for our brunch, and one of the things we're going to be needing are lots of red onions. Okay. So, um, you know, the... Uh, I don't know, four or five. Okay. The difference between the red onions and the white onions, which are used for um, a lot of Mexican food, they aren't, the white onions aren't as strong. Right. And the yellow onions over here, they're, they're a little bit stronger uh, and not quite as sweet than a, than a red onion. Right. So if you're not really an onion person, you uh, want to go with the white. Go with the white. Yes. But if you like onion, I, I like onion, so I go with my yellow. But this is more for, I do this for salads. Yeah, for and we're going we're gonna to use, actually, we're going to use the red onion in, um, in one of the, uh, in a couple of the dishes. Okay. So that's the reason why I picked the red onion. Alrighty. Um, also, sometimes, oh, okay, let's see, we need some, we need some, oh, definitely some garlic. And you know where we are, we're in Gilroy, so, yeah. so let's pick yeah, some good hair. Garlic. Okay. Well, let's just, how many do you want? Because that's a lot of garlic in those. There's a lot of cloves. Hey, we need a lot of garlic. Yeah, garlic, all right. Oh, that's cool. Okay. And that's great. So you guys, so anyway, do, is this, now, is this, is this still Gilroy garlic? Oh, absolutely. We never sell anything but what we grow. So it's grown right here in Gilroy. It's Ooh. And it's beautiful. It, it is really beautiful. is. Look at this. You guys see someone, that? Someone actually asked me if this was last year's garlic. We don't sell last year's garlic. We only sell this year's garlic. So, I mean, garlic will keep for about a year, but then it starts to dissolve, basically. I mean, you could, you could squish it with your hand if it's old. It starts to break down. Well, one of the so. things that, when we did the garlic festival, one of the things, and I just want to throw this in, one of the things that we learned was that um, a lot of people were making roasted garlic olive oil and leaving the garlic cloves in the garlic. You cannot do that because garlic actually, for some reason, does not, it has a, a um, it'll actually get a particular kind of bacteria on it. So you actually have to remove the garlic clove from. Yeah, a lot of people like to do that. I think it looks pretty. It looks pretty and it's fine if you're going to use it for visual, but then you can't eat it. You shouldn't eat it. You have to remove the garlic clove from, from the oil it. and then, and then, uh, and put it in a pretty dish. Yeah. <laughs> so don't, don't leave your garlic cloves in side of the olive oil unless you're going to use it like that day or something like that so hey you guys sweet potatoes yams wonderful let's let's in fact you know let's just get a few of these because i think we're going to throw some of these in with the potatoes Sounds good. a couple of each because they're so pretty oh look at this guy isn't he cute see that's what's so cool about this kind of stuff because you can actually look at it it looks all fresh these are fried green tomatoes we're not going to make them today but they're really wonderful 
Oh, look at these. I mean, come on, guys. We still have tomatoes. We have good weather. We got tomatoes. Yeah, it's beautiful outside. Yes. But these. These are the best. These are Italian tomatoes. They are my favorite. Guys. Look at these. They look so pretty. They're kind of ugly, but they're the best flavor. They're nice and beefy. They're, they're not as juicy. They're more meaty, but they're sweet, and they're just really yummy. Well, that's what's so cool about these, that this is, this is a, a wonderful tomato for uh, using uh, for salads or you use these for anything but what's neat about them is that they they don't have all that juice so if you're putting them on something like a pizza or something yeah, like that yeah you don't get that all that get extra all that liquid water, water absolutely yeah so or even actually, for sauce oh yeah for great okay sauce. let's get a few of these all right <laughs> judy's going crazy i'm good this is just like this is like a cook's dream come true absolutely. shopping here we'll get a couple more all oh right. god that's plenty all right okay we got limes, lemon. Oh, actually, I need an orange because I got I got some wonderful. Yeah, that's just I just one? yeah or okay. one two. We got avocados. We don't need avocados. Okay, actually, you guys, let's. Uh, here we are at the corn. We're not going to be using corn today, but I wanted everybody to see that they still have wonderful corn here. Yes, we do. And this corn is going to be here. Open well, we're hoping until the end of November, depending on the weather. But you know can only hope but it, we still got yummy white corn we have yellow corn so corn. it's gonna be here okay now we are down here we have a shopper can you guys see this look at this is this beautiful or what all these beautiful squashes Do you guys you know you can't I mean it just it looks so it looks so much more beautiful here. Well, they're just just the colors. I mean, if you could put this into your meal every night, it makes it, it everything tastes better when it's got color. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's just... So I try to use squash, you know, a, a couple times a week at least. Well, you know what's kind of neat is if you bring the kids here... And they can and, see where it comes from. And they from. see where it comes from. They're more likely to try it. And if you ask them, go pick out a few things. Yeah. And if you let them pick it out... And if you let them cook it, they might actually eat that's it. That's right. That's right. And look at, all, look at all this. Look at all these beautiful things. So actually what we do need is we do need some, these are Pippin apples. We got some Fuji. Actually we're gonna need some Granny Smith. So here, let's get a bag. Cause we're gonna be making an apple crisp. Yum. How many do you want? Oh, let's say like eight or 10. That's gonna be wonderful. Can you, see, oh, you want me to put this down here? Yeah. Okay. All right, we got apples. We got apples. Yummy. Okay, what else do we need for our yummy brunch? Okay. Let's see. We We're going to have some potatoes. I got those at home. Ooh, look at these. Get a, see, look at these guys. Never stop working over here. Oh, and look who's here. <laughs> Say hi, Brent. Gotcha. Got him cornered. And this is your brother-in-law. Brother this is at all. no, no. no this is Brent Benino. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. How you doing? I just want to thank you for you know having us here today in your beautiful farm, and, and we really appreciate it. We want everybody to know that you're here, and you know, come and always here. He's a worker bee. He's a worker bee. You have yeah. both of them, Russ and Brent. They're always here helping everybody. You know. Making the sure, nicest guys in town. Making really sure. I don't know about that. What? Well, thank you. Really You're appreciate welcome. it. Okay. okay. <laughs> He's like very shy. Okay. Okay. So you guys, here's for you know for Christmas time or whenever for all of your really good Mexican dishes and stuff like that. Here's your all your wonderful peppers. Yeah, we have uh, lots of people come and roast uh, boxes of peppers and put them in their freezer. Do you guys for, roast? Do you yeah, roast them roast here? Here we have a big roaster out front and we'll roast. Uh, We'll roast whatever pe peppers you want by the box. Um, we also sell them, you know, in little packages if you just want to. That's copy. so cool. But because um, you yeah, can, the, if the ones that are already in the box, already in the freezer, get those, use those in the summertime Absolutely. because you're not going to be getting those. Well, you, all through the winter, you could be using them for all of your uh, Mexican dishes or even salad dressings or oh, that's a stir great fries idea. or whatever. You know, not just for Mexican food. And I have to say, your peppers look. A thousand times better than, than what they normally do in the Yeah, my husband stores. prides himself on just growing really beautiful peppers. He's he won't off. sell anything that doesn't look pretty. Look at these. <laughs> these are, are really beautiful, pretty. you guys. Ooh, you can. These are the ones that they use for stuffing. You make um, 
chilirenos with these, right? Well, we do chilirenos with uh, the Anaheim. Yeah. Uh, mostly. These ones, you know what I like these ones for? I like doing a stir fry, like a Chinese stir fry, uh -huh. uh, with chicken and a little bit of this diced up, and even with some butternut squash. Ooh, so, I think we have a, a cook rice. here. Yes. Definitely, so we have yummy. a cook here. Well, that's I have great. A few things I like. Okay, here we are. Here's back at the acorn, and this is the butternut squash that we were talking about before. My favorite. And this is this is actually what a lot of people they kind of sometimes I think get mixed up between the butternut squash when this is cut open and that big banana squash. Um, they're very similar. Um, and you kind of these ones come in smaller sizes. These ones come in smaller sizes. And w on Sunday when we're cooking, this is the thing is that this this is a solid meat. And this is like a bowl inside. So it's kind of neat. Easy to, you can easily skin it. Yeah, you just use a, a, I use a vegetable peeler. Yes, use a potato peeler and skin it. And then you can cut it up and put it in whatever dish you want to. Oh, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. You put some with the yams and the onions and everything. It makes sort of like a, a squash sort of hash. It's wonderful with a roasted chicken, sort of French style for Francois over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, okay, so we need some reds. All right. And aren't these beautiful? Come on now, you guys. And look, look at that price. I, you got to shoot that price. I yeah. mean, there's just yeah. nowhere Store. you can get the quality and the quantity for that. No, no you can't. You, you can't, and really. they're not as pretty in the store either. I mean, look at how, look how big these things are. These things are massive. And I tell you, I made some stuffed peppers the other night with these peppers for my husband. And he ate, I made three peppers, he ate them all. And the difference is, is these are so fresh that the meat inside is so moist yeah. that it's, and it's so sweet that it just, it just tastes good. It's not dried out. No, I love the reds. Even the yellows are that way. No, they're, they're all very, good. They're, they're all wonderful. Juicy. So how many of these guys do you want? Oh, jeez. Oh, my goodness. We got, all right. I think okay, we're done there. Yellows? So anyway, I'm going to look at my, my uh, list here. Bells, onions, squash, we tomatoes, apples. apples, decorating stuff, garlic. Right. We got it all. We got it all. So we're all ready for all right. our cooking Let's for our cook. brunch. Let's go cook. I want to thank Raquel for being here, and I want to thank I LJB Farms you. for supporting us and for letting us come in here and show their beautiful, their beautiful farm. And we hope that you all come and visit them in your holiday cooking. Absolutely. We'd love to see you. Okay, thanks. Right. We'll see cook. you guys later. Cooking for all seasons. Fall out. Oh, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to Cooking for All Seasons. My name is Judy Keys, and you're in my home, and we're with... Raquel Benino. And I don't know, uh, today we're in the house doing the cooking from for the brunch that we were shopping for the other day. Yes. So we have everything together now, mm -hmm. and um, it's fall, so we're doing a fall brunch, and that was all the really goodies that we bought the other day mm -hmm. in the... Uh, at the ranch, we were at LJB Farms, and I just want to take this time to thank the Benino family for letting me in there. Yeah, because that's a little scary to let you in there. You yeah. Know, she uh -huh. takes over the place. She's like major shopping <laughs> in there. But I just want to thank them. They're in Gilroy. They're on uh, Fitzgerald. And really, they have wonderful things, and they're open all the way, which I think is so cool, until December 24th. Yep. So you can get all kinds of fresh stuff until December 24th. So thank you again to the Benino family and LJB Farms. Okay. So the first thing we're making it. today is uh, strata. So the first thing we're gonna do is let's butter our um, pan here. Okay. Um, okie dokie. With yeah. the little brush, right? With the brush. Okay. Just go ahead and mark that. This All is right. such an easy thing to make. Um, just the one thing we're going to put in it today, we're just going to put some um, bell peppers and some red onions that I've already um, diced up and sautéed. And then we're going to put in some fresh basil and some cheese. Um, oh, that's great. Is that so, all right? Yeah. Now Raquel's going to cut She's the, um, yeah, go ahead and cut okay. the, um, cut the crusts off. Um, normally on normal thing, yeah, that's fine. On normal things, I don't normally cut the crust off of things, but on this, you want to because um, it, the butter sort of melts into the eggs. And I made it for you the other day. Oh, it was so good. And she didn't even know it had bread in it. I so had no idea. I thought it was all egg. Yeah, so by the time it gets through cooking, you really don't know it has the bread no. in there, but the bread sort Makes of it gets it. It's very fluffy. Yeah. 
So you kind of want the, the crest off of it so you don't see it. Oh, that's great. So I'll just take this part. And, you know, you guys can keep this if you're going to make, uh, like, uh, breadcrumbs yeah. with it or croutons or yeah, anything absolutely. you want. But for today, we'll, we're, just throw it away. we're not going to use it. So we've got so much stuff to make. So... Um, so what did you? What do you? What does your family do in the in the fall for special things? You know, I I'm really about trying new recipes. So we don't have any, you know, anything we do all the time that's the same. I'm all about looking in new cookbooks and trying something new. We have so much fun produce that I'm always um, getting ideas oh, from customers crap. of things that they've tried and. Um, so, you know, there's not just one thing. I just like using all these yummy vegetables that we have. Oh, um, that's so, I mean, that is, of, you are so lucky. I mean, that's like. I know. The dream thing is to like. Have not, all that right to there. to have a, you know, to be in that family, but to be next to all those wonderful vegetables and to have all that access all yeah, the time. Yeah, all the time. But I will have to tell you, the other day I bought this new cookbook. It's actually called, um, yeah, so all Can you want to do, do is. Can I do that while you're talking? Yeah, all you're going to okay. do is butter both sides. Okay. And then we're going to put it down in here. Okay. But I found this uh, cookbook. It's, um, it's a, uh, it's called the Cook's, um, cookbook it's by the they have a cooking show on tv uh it's called cooks illustrated and actually i'm going to suggest that you guys that that would probably be something that i would suggest for a, a, a gift for the holidays or something because it really has a really a lot of good information um it has uh information on how to uh you know temperatures for for meats and you know how to bake things so just not like the basics just the, the cooking basics not a, but it only has basic thing it has a lot of a lot of really neat information in it and it's sort of set up like the um what is that better homes and garden yeah. it's got the uh the, all the, the tabs and all that it's got okay. all the tabs into the different uh areas and mm -hmm. stuff like that so you can add sort of your own recipes into the into it mm -hmm. but i really i really liked it i thought it was a wonderful book and how am i doing am i layering yeah no so we're going to do so one layer so as long here. as you're doing both sides okay yeah we're doing to do one we're going to do one layer and then we're going to fill it with cheese and then we're going to mix we're gonna mix our eggs. So we've got two and a half cups of regular milk in here. The other day when I made it for you, I did have, I oh, sort of bumped it up a little bit. I had she some. She really made it fattening. I, I mean, had it's some like half a heart attack, half. a dish, a heart attack <laughs> in a dish. I had some half and half and I used that. that. So the other thing I say, you notice I'm cracking these eggs, I'm cracking them into a separate dish. I just want to show you guys. And the reason why I'm cracking them into a separate dish and not putting them into where the milk is, is that um, you can actually get, you know, pieces of the shell. And once you get the pieces of the shell into the milk, it's, it's like hard to get it out. You're yeah, never you going to find it. it, you know. So this way, it's much better to to go ahead and crack it into a separate bowl and then and then it put in. it into uh, your uh, your milk or to whatever you're you're putting this it into. Okay, so only six fit in there. What you want me just to stop? Oh, you got six in there? Yeah. Oh, you know what? Do let's we need get, more for the second layer? Yeah, you layer? know what? Let's get another, um, let's see, where did I put that book Oh, at? I see it. It's way over it? there, yeah. Okay. I don't know if I let's, can uh, Let me try to go over there. Can you get... Oh! Yeah. Oh! <laughs> okay, we're going to be cutting that out, right? <laughs> nah. <laughs> I want to get a couple. Let's get like yeah. Let's go it's ahead. Gonna be, it's going to be six. Let's go more, ahead right? and put um, a couple more slices. This is this is what's uh, neat about this. And you know what? I got the half and half here. And what's nice about this recipe is you you can just go ahead and sort of add some more stuff to it. So we're just going to add another half a cup of milk to it because we're putting some more. Actually, this is this is some heavy cream. So this is really going to kick this up. So we're going to add some heavy cream in there, just for a hey, little bit more liquid. you're going to do it, you got to do it right. And then we're just going to put another egg in there, and that's just, I mean, this is really an easy recipe. And uh, just measuring. Yeah. There's no measuring. We were this laughing sort about of, that earlier. Just sort of I put said, it in. Yes. Okay, so there we got, that's great. Mm -hmm. So, but we're going to put the cheese and the egg on first, and then I'm going to do another yeah. layer? Yeah. Okay. So now we've got all of our eggs all right. in here. And let's put a little bit of salt, because eggs really need the salt. You know, if, even scrambled eggs, they need to have uh, 
some salt in there. Even though we've got cheese in there and we're gonna actually end up topping it off with some Parmesan cheese, oh. you still need to uh, put a little bit of salt in there. Otherwise, you don't get the flavors don't really come up. So is there anything so special you're gonna be doing this year for your fa with your family? Oh, just having family in town and making sure I make a lot of food and yeah. keep them well fed. Well, this is a really a wonderful time of the year, and I know everybody enjoys it, you know. But it's kind of, fall is kind of that half time um, when you, you don't really, you're sort of in and out of the summer, yeah. the end of the summer, the beginning but of the winter. But you know, it, for me, it's, it's all about warm food. Like in the fall, like in the summer, we do lots of salad and stir fry and light yeah. dishes, and then fall comes yeah. and you just want to fatten up for the winter, don't you? <laughs> So fatten you want to up. do stews this is, would be, yeah, yummy. This would be something that you could fatten up <laughs> with. And, and really, I think that you could cut this dish down a lot. I think you could I'm probably sure make you, this. You could do low-fat cheese. You could do low-fat cheese. You could do. Non-fat milk, right? Uh, okay, maybe not. <laughs> Well, you, you could. could. Do, well, you could. You could do like a low-fat cheese and maybe... She shuddered. I don't know if you uh, saw that, but she actually shuddered. <laughs> you know, what, you know, like blue milk, you know, but um, you could do maybe... You could definitely do eggs, um, you know, the eggs that are... Uh, oh, the egg beater eggs. The egg beater Absolutely. eggs. Absolutely. So you could make this healthy if you really... You could. You could, but we won't. We won't. No. We won't. We won't. We'll we won't. go all out yeah. today. But you really, you could. I mean, you know, hey, you don't want to leave, you don't want people to get, you know, feel that they can't have everything. Well, that's, that's the thing is that um, you could still eat yummy and be healthy. Yes. So. So this, what I'm putting on now, this is just some uh, grated um, cheese. This is half um, cheddar, cheddar cheese and half... Um, like a uh, Monterey Jack. Monterey Jack, but you could really, you could go all out at this point. You could do, uh, uh, like a. Could you what do a pepper that? jack? You could do a pepper jack. Oh, that would be you yummy. You could do a sharp cheddar. You could do a manchego. You could do any kind of cheese. cheese that you could do like. a white cheddar. You could do anything. Okay, this is. I love this mixture. This right is here. the uh, the. Um, Red onions onion, yeah. and the, uh, the red pepper. the red peppers that we're putting in. So. See what I love about fall is, well, and summer, is the peppers. I can put peppers in any dish that I make. The red, the yellows, the greens, the hot. Well, and then, and, and also, so this, this, at this point, this is where you can change the flavor. So if you want it, you could put jalapenos. Yeah, you could put, you can make it you, a little Mexican do, dish. You could do anything. Yes. You know, so you want to go ahead and we have some fresh basil. So you okay, want to go we'll ahead chop and that up. chop up some of that fresh basil. All righty. Let's see. What other kind of goodies do we have here? Oh, the other thing I need to put in is some dry mustard. Into okay, now, this. now what exactly does dry mustard do? Well, dry mustard has actually, okay, dry mustard, you know, when you go to uh, Chinese restaurants and they have that hot mustard? Yeah. This is what they use. You use really? dry mustard, a little bit of water, and I like a just some people don't, but I use like a little bump of some sesame oil okay. into it. But this is it's that's what it is. It's dry mustard. It's very pungent. Mm. But it's it's what you're gonna put in things like macaroni and cheese right. and things like that. It just adds that little depth of flavor. Okay. See? I didn't know that. Mmm. So. I need to learn how to use that. Yeah, it's just it's a I lot put it, of I put it in my like salad dressing. Salad dressing, anything. And you really don't taste it, but but it is there. It's there, yeah. So now we've got this, and what I'm going to do now? Okay, you got. So now we got some of this fresh basil. Let me see your you can tell this is this is not a rocket science dish. This is this sort is of like definitely something you could. You, all you these could, ingredients you should have. You yeah, know. I mean you could really. I mean, I always have egg. I always have cheese. I always have peppers. This is a, and this basil, is also a leftover. This is also a leftover dish. Yeah. Absolutely. This is like whatever you bread. had. You could have old bread, right? Oh, definitely. Any kind of bread, really. You could do this with a raisin bread. Couldn't you do it with a French bread? You could do it with a French bread. You could do a sweet with mm. raisin bread. Mm, that Cinnamon would be raisin yummy. bread. So we're going to pour some of this on this. You could actually even do this the night before and let it soak overnight. That well, would that's be good. Fine. And then you get up early, you just, you just pop get it up in the and oven. just pop it in the oven. Okay, okay now, now I'm going to layer. Now we're going to go ahead okay. and put the last top on it. It's like a big Italian sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh, I did get better on this last one. Oh, okay. So I think this is looking good. I think so. I'm ready to eat right now. No, we got some more things we're going to make. She got me over here really early, and I'm, my stomach's growling right now. Looking at this yummy food. Well, we got to, you know, you have to get it. That's the only thing. You got to work well, for your food you gotta around here. You got to work for your food, you know. Well, <laughs> no, not really. We won't make you work too hard. But And this is an easy one. This is an easy thing to make. Actually, this is something that the kids can... This is Help what's out. nice about this. This is really this. The kids can pick out the things that they like. Mm -hmm. You could put some mushrooms in this. You could put chopped ham. You could See, put anything in there. Bacon. Bacon. Anything. Oh, definitely yeah. bacon. So then we're going to go ahead. We're going to put this, the rest of this on top. The only thing you probably want to do is like cook certain things. Like I would definitely cook onions before I put them in here, right. unless I cut them like really, really pencil thin, because this, this is not going to bake for that long. Let's see, let's well, make sure. Well, and I sure. think that sauteing it with the olive oil, it could Yeah, this is extra. only going to bake, I think, for what? Well, About 45, 45 minutes, minutes to an hour, but still, mm -hmm. I, would, I would probably want to yeah. make sure that the onions are cooked. But hey, if you're going to put green onions in there, you don't need to cook them. That's and we're right. going to actually, we're going to top this too with some, some, chives. Uh, some chives. Should we put the basil so on there? So let's put the basil on there. Oh, here, and I'm going to give you some chives to chop, and then we're going to top it off to, see, this is just like a little bit of everything, and then we're going to pour this on it. Mm. This is the rest of the egg and the cream. Well, we didn't put that much cream. We just put just a little bit to make sure that we had enough liquid. And this is going to puff up like a big... It's so puffy. It's yummy. Like a big sandwich. Okay. All right, then the next thing we're going to do, and I know. Is yeah, we, we come love get... Judy coming to the barn because she always brings food. <laughs> she brings her newest <laughs> creation, and we get to. Yeah, I have to have my test, my, test, yeah. my test kitchen. <laughs> it's very down nice. There. So, okay. Now, I'm just going to give you some of these. Yeah, these are some, some chives. I'm going to chop some chives. All righty. Those are lovely. Over there. Okay. And that's it. I mean, that's that's very simple. It's, it's very not simple. a um, it's not a hard one to make. Well, I like easy recipes like this because I'm trying to teach my boys how to cook, and this is something they could easily do. Oh, definitely. It's not too hard. I'll tell you one thing. It's really interesting. When kids know how to cook, and they, as they get older, they um, they they begin to. Uh, accumulate a lot of friends <laughs> yeah. for some reason. I, I noticed that. And as they get older and they get into college and stuff like oh, that, yeah. they, they really appreciate Absolutely. the fact that they know, they know how, how to make... Well, it's impressive. They know and they impress... Well, my boys, well, they'll impress the girls. I'm hey, you. you know? Well, my husband would always cook his uh, chicken polenta for all of his buddies at college and they'd have barbecues. And I mean, their house was oh, the place you know, to go because they knew how to cook. I'm going to put some, oh, some, well, well it's, it's some Parmesan because we're doing Italian, so we're going to stick some of Absolutely. this on here. Can oh, I put more chives? Oh, yeah, now go ahead and put okay. the chives in and put the chives on the top. There you go. So, yeah, I mean, you know, when the kids know, you know, they know how to cook and they end up having all their friends over, and it really begins to get kind of a party-type atmosphere. Yes. And then, so there you go, you guys. It's a strata. Yeah. And we made it. We did. And we made it in record time. <laughs> So now we're going to get this into the oven and then we're going to switch over and we're going to get into some a pasta dish mm -hmm. with uh, cream and bake because we have to have mm. bacon today. We got, yeah, we're not going to be healthy at all today. No, no, no. Today is not a, no, today. It's not a health and, conscious and you, day. And you don't have to make all this. I mean, you could make this and then serve it with a nice fruit dish or a nice tossed salad or something. You don't right. need to go overboard. No. We, on the other hand, are going to go overboard today because it actually happens to be my parents' 63rd wedding anniversary and they're going to be here today with us sharing in this brunch. So yep. we'll be right back with you guys. Hi, we're back. Okay, now we're gonna um, now we're going to make some pasta. Mm. I love this. Now, what do you call that? Frying pan. A frying pan, a skillet. A skillet. I love it. An electric skillet. It's fun. Pan. It's very fancy. I didn't even realize it was plugged in, and all of a sudden the butter started melting. And I want it? that. I want. I know. Can you actually? Uh, you know what? My prize after the show, I get to take that home. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> That's, no. That's fun. I love it. Okay. But if I could get you one, I would. Okay, but correct. we'll try right. to go find one. Actually, I'll tell you, I bought this uh, many years ago. Oops. I'm just putting butter in here. 
There's always room for better. Absolutely. Um, and uh, I bought this at Costco. And wow. I didn't get it one day. And then I kept thinking, I really need to have that. Okay. Can, you lost I went that back night. the next day. There was one left. Oh, look at that. Lucky girl. So it was like one I'm of those keep things. My eye out it for was one just of one of those things <clears throat> that, um, you know, I, I'm just all about when you see something like that that you really need. You just you know, gotta buy it. And I just, I love it. I really do. Because it's, it's big. Yeah, I love it. You know, and it's nice because you can like put it on the table. Yeah. So I know you guys don't. But anyway, so this is kind of a neat thing to have. I love it. You know, because we're going to make the pasta sauce in here. Okay. I'm chopping, by the You're way. Chopping. I'm just letting you know. She's chopping some chai, I mean some uh, shallots, shallots. And I put some butter in here. And what we're going to do with the garlic is we're not going to we're not going to put minced garlic in here. What we're going to do is we're going to put garlic pieces in here, um, so that we get the flavor of I the love garlic. I chunks of garlic. And then later on we'll sort of fish it out. Oh, you're going to take it out? Well, we can leave it in. I think you should leave it in. I mean, we could leave it in. I love garlic. And the reason why she would say that is because she's from we grow garlic. They grow garlic, and yeah, we use a lot of garlic. No waste. Come on. No, no waste. So, if you get a hunk of this garlic in your meal today, you guys, you're going to know who uh, put it there. Oh, it's the best. <laughs> it's the best surprise uh -huh. ever. <laughs> but this is, uh, I, I wanted to get bacon into the, into the breakfast today, so I was trying to think, what can I do to put bacon in here? Well, so we're going to make put this. put the bacon in the eggs. Well, that's what I'm going to do. This is going to be a pasta. Okay. With bacon, eggs. Oh, there you some go. Some butternut squash. And some cream, mm. a dieter's delight. Delight. Yes. And so, actually, brunch is what, what's neat about brunch is that brunch is a combination, obviously, of lunch and breakfast. But I think it's it's a great meal um, because you can actually put anything in it you really want to put. I in would it. make this for dinner. Yeah, you can do this for I dinner. Would. Well, this especially you could definitely do well, for dinner. Yeah, but what's neat stuff. about doing a brunch is that you can cook once in the day. And then you could eat it all day long. You can long. eat all day long. Absolutely. You know. So I wouldn't That's how my Sundays go. This is how I cook on Sundays. Yeah. You know, you put all, it's, mm -hmm. it's sort of like, well, actually the Italians, this is sort of, it has an Italian theme going on. And, uh, cause we have, we're serving Italian sausage. That's why I had to put the bacon in here. Cause we have Italian sausage and peppers. But the thing is that when, when you're, um, you know, Italians, they always have, like, the, the Sunday uh, sauce. Right. Well, you know? back in the old days, my, my, my husband was growing up, they would have, of course, the big breakfast, and then they would have their supper, which was, like, at 2 yeah. in the afternoon, and they would have the full spread with the, you know, seven-course meal and the wine, and then everybody would take a little, you know, siesta. siesta? Yeah. And then they would go back in the fields and work, and then uh, they would come home and have, like, a... Dinner was like a sandwich or leftovers. Or leftovers, supper. which yeah. is kind of like, this is what's nice about this, is that basically you're going to, you leftovers. know, this is, you could eat on this all day long. You get this for your your baseball, Super Bowl. Yeah, there you go. Whatever. See, that's what we were talking about earlier. So this is kind of like your fall uh, brunch idea, but you could have it for your Super Bowl party or your, um, or just family gathering. Yeah. Like around have, Thanksgiving time or... You know, for the holidays and stuff, for whatever Absolutely. kind of holidays you celebrate, you can incorporate your family's Absolutely. favorite dishes into this because it's uh, breakfast and lunch. There you go. And so you can uh, put Eat anything into it. So here, we're, what we're doing, can you guys... That smells so good. Can you Sorry, see you that? can't smell it. Can you see that? Here, mm. there you go. I mean, nothing okay. smells better than, you know, and onions, onions and garlic. And garlic. Yeah. There's no kissing after this meal. No, well, everybody has to eat. As long as you everybody can't eats. Me, Judy. No kissing me. <laughs> so, anyway, I was talking about this book, and I'm going to show you this book. You want to hand me that book? This was the book I was talking about, and I really think that this, you know, this is, this is not a book that I wrote or anything, obviously, but this is, here you go. Can you guys get this? Do you see this? Do you see this over here? This is a great, this is, I thought this was a neat book um, for a gift or even for yourself. It, it has all the information about, you know. I have an older, better, isn't that a Better Homes and Garden? No, no it's maybe an American not. I have a, an old Better Homes and Garden kind of similar to that. Where yeah, you can look up any measurement or any recipe. 
Gosh, I was trying to figure out how to pickle cucumbers, and it was in there. So, I mean, there's, gosh, this. Hey, you were making the other day, I, you were making some really neat um, candied apples. Uh, yes, I was. Ooh, those look good. They were fun. I know, and they're so easy to do. Hey, how do we get from pickles to candied apples? I'm not sure. I know. We're just talking well, about food. I know. Because we're talking, because this good. is food. I love so. to experiment. So now, let's put in some fresh ground pepper. You know, when you put your seasonings in, in, the, in this case we're using really just kind of pepper and salt in this. Um, if, when you put your, your seasonings in when, that, when you're doing your olive oil or your butters or anything like that, it'll burst the flavor out a mm -hmm. little bit more. So if you're right. putting any of your dried seasonings or anything in, it's uh, good to put them in when you're beginning your saute. Then it's drying the flavor out. Yeah, so it, it pulls out the oils and stuff. Okay, now I think Green. I'm going to put it in. Oh. It, can you guys see that? Can you see that? I mean, look at that. I mean, that's just, just fat on the... Yeah, just pour that right on my hips right so now because that's yeah, where it's going. That's where that's where that stuff goes. <laughs> so we're just going to put that in there. Oh, but that's going to be. And yummy. then we're going to bring this up to a boil, and that'll reduce it a little bit. But then we're going to take some of the reduced cream and we're going to put it into some eggs and temper the eggs. Okay. And that'll make that'll thicken the it'll sauce. Thicken it up, yeah. So it's not going to be like eggy, eggy like a... Oh, it's no, more like no, it's a, not going to have scrambled yeah, eggs. You won't no, even really yeah. know that the eggs are in right. there. It just helps to kind of, just like a cake, it helps to puff it up and... It'll, well, it we it want, it'll still be a sauce, but right. it'll be like a custardy sauce right. kind of. Right, there you go. It just adds as a thickener and actually adds to enrich the sauce, like right. we needed more richness. Yeah. Hmm. But, you know, it's only cream and... You know, you this only live be, once. You only go once, yeah. so we're going to add some more in here. We're going to get this going real good. Okay, you got to give me something to do. My hands are, you know, antsy. I know. Well, we have to wait a little bit for this to go. So tell me, where, um, where's your family originally from? Well, my husband's family is originally from Italy, so we're very Italian. Yeah. My family, we're like a mixed breed. We're yeah. from everywhere. So, no, yeah. that's true. That's true much. Americans, right? I, that's, that's it. True that's true Californians. What I am. You know? Yeah. But it's kind of fun to have married into this very rich family of Italians, you know. Yeah. I've learned how to talk with my hands. It's rubbed <laughs> off on me. <laughs> but yeah. it's nice to have, they have this really deep history here in the community and and we have fun stories of how they traveled from Italy and come, mm -hmm. you know, came here and so it's nice to know where you're from. Well, you know, that's, that's where, you know, when you look at the food uh, in California, you'll notice that a lot of the different foods that that are served at the tables during the holidays have a lot of uh, heritage attached to right. them. It's sort of like at Thanksgiving. You know, there are certain dishes that you serve at Thanksgiving, or or at your ho whatever holidays that you that you uh, you know celebrate. practice yeah. or celebrate. They are definitely associated with your heritage. Absolutely. And there's, I'm sure, there are certain. Uh, things that you serve at your table. Well, sure, but you know what? I'm I'm not a stickler about sticking to. I know there's. We were. I, I was having a conversation with a friend actually just last night about that. How her mother-in-law has to have the stuffing a certain way because that's how they do it. And yeah. I'm not like that. I like trying new things and uh, um, you know adding different dishes to every year. I'm all about new and. And uh, and not sticking well, to I the always, same yeah, thing. Yeah, but I, I think that what happens is what'll happen is you know people will come to your house knowing that they're always yeah. going to get that same yeah, dish. Yeah, that's true. But I always think that you should always make those same dishes. But you got to have hard. a little. But just extra. maybe yeah. add. I tweak them a little. That's well, all. Either that or add that extra dish. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And say, okay, well this year. I've added this new dish, but right. always make sort of the old yeah. dishes too. This, yeah. Because the kids have sort of had the so standard. Go, oh, that's true. What that happened is, yes. to the way you used to make yeah, it? Yeah, that's true. You know? Yeah, well, like I always have to have my chunky cranberry sauce with the orange peel in it. See? See? I do. See, because that's the way, it. that's what you're used that's to. That's what I'm used to. Absolutely. So when you, you know, that's why when you make your Thanksgiving dinner or mm -hmm. whatever, that you make it with, you know, you make your standards, and, and then, then you, you maybe add, add yeah. in that yeah. extra dish that yeah. you want to try, and they'll go, oh, this is really good. Right. So the next year, you go, 
Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to make that extra dish right. and maybe begin to fade one of the older ones out. Right. But yeah. you're always going to get that Aunt Lucy or something yeah. that says... Well, they want it a certain way. Yeah. That's, you know, that's just the way it is. But well, that's, you know... Hey, when it's at my house, it's my way. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I bet you they come back. Oh, they do. So, yeah. Well, here we have, you can see, I don't know if you guys can see the steam coming uh, up. Yeah, see, and that's fogging the, your glasses. That's, yes, I'm fogging. That's the moisture <laughs> leaving the cream and thickening it up. Can you smell in the. I do smell the it. The garlic it is now wonderful. getting infused yes. into, the, into the sauce. You better leave that garlic in there. I will. I'm telling I you. will leave it. So actually, what will happen to the garlic once you've been cooking it like this, the, it'll mellow out. Yeah, it, well, and it softens it'll up. It'll soften but, up. Yeah. So, uh, all right, so we're almost there. We don't want to get it too thick because what we're going to do is boil the noodles, the, the spaghetti, and uh, that will, um, some of the starch from that, so that will, will actually thicken it up. Thicken it Absolutely. up. And actually what we're going to do now, we've got a couple eggs, and this is just going to really add thickness the eggs. You want to stir yeah, those give me up? Something to do, okay. Will and then what I'm going to turn this down and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have uh, this is the tempering of the eggs. Now, so am while you pour while you're No, I'm no? Gonna, now what I'm oh, going to do is I see, I'm, I'm going sorry. now go ahead and and, and whisk. Okay. This is what I do with my gravy. There you go. So I'm this is what you this is what what happens when you're tempering the eggs. So I'm trying to bring the... So that's so the, it doesn't chunk up like... That's right. Like Otherwise, you have eggs. scrambled eggs in there. there. You go. So we're tempering the, the eggs so that when we put them in... Now how would you do this without me? I don't know. I don't know how you would I do usually it. look like a sort of kind of a little, you know, kind of going like this, trying, trying to not to, yeah. spill it. So now you can feel the bowl. Oh, is it getting warm? Spill? Yeah. No, it no, is. no. Is it getting yeah. warm? Well, let's try one bit. more scoop. Because we don't want to have. I was really being loud. I'm sorry. No, that's all right. It's ting, hey, it's ting, only ting, us. Ting. It's only us. <laughs> what? What? Can you see it? Okay. All right. Now, go ahead and pour it in. Okay. I'm going to go from this side. And then we're going to. How's that? As long as oh, you we keep chunks. Oh no, those are the. Those are actually. Well, yeah, the, they're uh, the onions. That's the onion. Anyways, go. breakfast. So if they got a piece of a scrambled egg, it wouldn't be so bad. So see now. Can you see? Yep, it's definitely gotten thicker. And what do you need? Want to hand me the salt over there? Oh yes, she left the salt. And we're gonna put a little bit of salt in here. So you gotta have the little dish of salt next to your stove at all times, right? Yeah, that's the kosher salt. You can see. Oh, isn't that pretty? Very pretty. And now what we're gonna do is. This is the bacon. I've already, mm. I cooked, you have to pre-cook the bacon on this one because you can't, uh, you can't just put in raw bacon. So we got the bacon is going in here. You okay? Yeah, I have an itchy nose, I'm sorry. That's all right. Probably from the steam that's coming up. Yeah. So we got the bacon. Smelling good. 